Hey Jujubes, it's 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. And I just checked the mail. I received this $4 Vivian Westwood knockoff pearl necklace in the mail. Oh wait, I'm holding the charm backwards. It's got the Vivian Westwood logo, which is like a Saturn with a cross on the top of it. Yeah, so a lot of celebrities have been wearing this necklace lately. Like in the Saweetie episode of the Paris Hilton cooking show, she was wearing this necklace, <laughs> except it was like double. I think hers had like more pearls. It was like lots of pearls. And I also, before watching that episode, I saw this lady who was working as a cashier at a grocery store that I went to and she had that, had this necklace on as well. And I was like, wow. I honestly didn't even know that this Saturn symbol was Vivian Westwood's logo. So I call myself like a fashion expert, but <laughs> apparently not. I was not aware of this that this was Vivian Westwood's logo for some reason. I guess I'm just, when I was younger and I was really obsessed with fashion shows and stuff, I just didn't watch any Vivian Westwood ones or I wasn't really into the Vivian Westwood brand as much when I was younger, when I was all like knowledgeable about fashion. So this information slipped my mind, but I really love this logo, like the Saturn, just like reminds me of Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Yeah, anyway, so this necklace is a $4 knockoff version of like the $600 real Vivian Westwood necklace. And you know what I'm gonna do is, I wanna paint it. Okay, I can't get this on right now. BRB. Okay, I just wanna try it on first to see what it looks like. So, oh wait, is it upside down? Oh, why is it? Oh, no it's not, okay. So it looks like this. I don't know, like the way it looks, it's just got kind of like a paper clip almost. I don't know, from far away, it looks like an oval, like blinged out paper clip, which I also think is cute. Like the paper clip um, trend of like earrings that look like paper clips. I think those are really cute. And yeah, this is a huge trend going on right now. And so I know I'm not being very like, I'm not like other girls with buying this. I am a little basic, so nothing wrong with that. I thought it was gonna be more of a choker, like more, I mean, it's still a good length. Like I still would wear it like that. Maybe not with this, maybe with like a lower cut top so that it can have a chance to shine on my neck. Um, but yeah, so what I wanna do is I want these pearls to look a bit green, but I don't want them to be like overwhelmingly green, like solid green. I want them to still have that pearl essence like you know how pearls are like they look like multicolored in the light like the light can hit them in different sections of the ball and it looks you know what pearls look like i don't have to <laughs> explain this i think but i want it to still look like pearls but i want them to be green so i have this other necklace so here's a green pearl necklace that i found at value village one time okay so yeah see how see how they look very nice, right? They also have transparent pearls. So I love this necklace. And I'm not trying to, you know, make a replica of this, but just for reference, in case you've never seen green pearls before, this is something I very, very much adore. And this, I'm just hoping that since I'm gonna be painting them with my own two hands, that they can look somewhat green is my hope. I don't want them to be like overwhelmingly green. I want them to have like this like green sheen to them, like a green transparency. So that's why I'm going to try using my watercolor paints. And maybe that's not a good idea to you guys. I don't know, we will find out. This is an experiment. We will find out. And um, if you're sad about this lighting, I am a little sad about it too, but this is not a high production value channel. This is just the um, overhead lighting of the situation. And it's a Saturday night, and I just wanna get this painting job done. The watercolor might not stick on. I don't know. I don't know, because this is like plastic probably. It's probably made from plastic, and I'm not sure if watercolor will stick to plastic surfaces. But uh, 
we will give it a go. I also considered using nail polish, but I'm afraid that like, you know how nail polish, when it dries, it gets all rubbery? Like, look, my nails, they're just like, they feel like plastic, like rubber almost. I don't want that on my pearls. And if I did blob a bunch of nail polish on there, I know it would get into that state of being rubbery. Like maybe if I was like very, very like gentle with the nail polish paintbrush, it would work, but I'm gonna try with watercolor first because I also want to use up my watercolors because I never really paint anymore, sadly. I need to start painting more though. I need to paint again. I'm just so lazy. I haven't made a YouTube video in a while because I was just busy with auditions in September. That's why. And also I was waiting for this necklace to arrive because I wanted this to be my next video content subject of the video. Anyway, I have talked for literally so long. Let's just start painting. Here's my setup. I've got this Chips Ahoy cardboard box, cereal box. This plastic cuppy I found with a brush in there. This necklace, by the way, I got from AliExpress. This is your last time seeing it. Perfect. It's actually very pretty, like the white pearls are very pretty. So it's a little bit sad that I'm making them green, almost. I mean, it won't be sad if it turns out good. This is a Reeves watercolor Viridian hue. I want it to be a very liquidy green. Like I don't want it to be a very pigmented green. I mean, I don't know if it's like you're supposed to Oh, it's like all dried up. See, this is the problem. This is why I wanted to use up my paints because they're just dried up. Uh-oh, it's dried up. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, well, anyway, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, here goes nothing. So I don't know if I wanna cover the entire surface. Oh, Dane, I don't think this is gonna stick. Cause the watercolor, I think it only goes onto paper. Dang it. Dang it. Well then, I guess I'll use nail polish. Let's rub you off. Okay, yeah, that literally did not go on there <laughs> at all. Okay, so that was a fail. I mean, I tried to make use of you, watercolor but you are dried up and you don't stick to plastic. Lesson learned. <laughs> okay, time to try out this Color Club Twiggy. Got this from nailpolishcanada.com or something. <laughs> Lols. That was, definitely did not work. <laughs> I don't want it to be like, yeah, I'm scared. Not really. Um, <laughs> that doesn't look great. Maybe if I rub it with paper, it'll turn out better. Um, no, it did not. That did not help. <laughs> oh no, well, I don't know. I mean, it's not like terrible. Like, what do you think of this? Close up, it probably looks so bad. Is it ruined forever? Does it look hideous now? I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit hideous, honestly. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so I don't know if the nail polish is gonna work either. How do I make pearls green? That is the question. I mean, is it terrible? Like, it just looks like a broken pearl, kind of. <laughs> I don't know if I can like, put this on all of them because yeah it does kind of cover up the sheen of it because pearls are supposed to have a sheen so it might not be possible to make this into a green pearl <laughs> necklace i just want i wanted it to be green because look how beautiful this one is how did they make this i, I guess they just dyed it somehow but i mean this is very beautiful and 
it seems like I'm not gonna get that kind of result with nail polish and I don't have any other real painting option but I guess I'll paint the other pearl that's at the end just so that they match and then I'll give up <laughs> oh my gosh like seriously well this was a bit of a fail actually it was a huge fail painted my camera with nail polish too, my um, DSLR. Anyway, so these two will just be these painted weird messes. Okay, weird. So, these two pearls at the end are a strangely greenish from afar. <laughs> I don't think I can bear to put the rest of the necklace through this. Through this, um, uglifying process. <laughs> I had a cool idea. I had, you know, bright intentions. I had dreams. They were dashed. My hopes and dreams were dashed today. Maybe one day I'll figure out a way to make this green. I'll, like, go to some professional and they'll, like, dunk it somehow into like this vat of green paint <laughs> or green, green sheen or green plastic or they'll remold it somehow. I mean for now, whatever. The rest can be the original white because that does look good. <laughs> and these two pearls at the end will just be... I mean, it's unique. Now I know that this necklace is mine. You know, it's got my signature on it, kind of. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. At least, I tested my theories. I still have a cute necklace. It's not like ruined or anything. Wait, how do you wear this? Why is it upside down? Oh, wait, okay, it's right side up. So yeah, you can't see those green messed up ones. They're not even messed up. It's a beautiful mistake, is what I will call it. Anyway. That is my little crafts project that only took literally like 30 seconds and yet somehow this video is very much more than 30 seconds. I'm sure that in the future if I did want to make it green there's probably a way. They'll probably like tape up the parts that I don't want to be green like the regular copper parts or whatever this metal is made of. Yeah, it smells like copper to me. Then they'll tape that part up and then they'll just like somehow paint the rest of the beads. Some things are just too good cannot be made at home, I guess. Wan an, zai jian hong zao. Hope y'all have a great October. By the way, this is my nail polish bedazzled Nikon DSLR, which I named Stellar. It's got nail polish almost all over it. And this one worked out great, cause you know, I like it. And it fits the um, name of this, the that I gave the camera. Named it Stellar. See? It's a little dusty. Here's a close-up shot of my <laughs> green little nail polish stained pearls. They still look good, okay? It's unique. We love that. Update. So I tried using this like glittery, shimmery nail polish as well, just to see if it would make like a better, see if it would look better. I mean, it kind of looks better, but still not really the sh shade, like the color result is still not really what I want exactly. The color is a bit dark and like, you know, even though it's shiny, it's shimmery, it still looks fine. I mean, it's sparkly and glittery, it gives it a sheen, but it's not the shade I want really, ultimately. Cool. These last two pearls are all rustic looking. I mean, it's not bad. No, I'm filming Tappy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Drink water, folks.